We're here in Joe's office at Cheap Joe's with uh, Jane Slitka. Mm -hmm. And Jane is, a, from what I've gathered, an extraordinary artist and teacher. Her class is full this week, and they're painting like crazy. <laughs> they are. And uh, one of the questions I always ask our workshop instructors is, when you come in, you've got a lot of responsibility. You've got these people that have traveled the distance. They're paying some good money to take a class. What do you want your students to get during the week? I want them to get confidence. Okay. Um, I think to be a good painter, or just to enjoy the painting process, you have to be confident and brave and feel that you're going in a positive direction. Okay. And um, I, I feel like some instructors are so uh, bent on sticking to these rules and making sure everybody learns all these very proper rules that it terrifies people, they tighten up, and they stop enjoying themselves. Therefore, they stop painting with free expression and um, the joy doesn't right. come out. So that's what I try to bring, is just bravery and confidence and joy. Okay. I visited your class a couple of times this week and I was uh, impressed by the the music in the background <laughs> and the the diligence of your students. I have I, I've been in a lot of classroom situations and have rarely seen uh, students that engaged. Oh, thank so you. So you're doing something. Thank you. Uh, I mean, not that other instructors don't do that. Well, I feel like if you're not enjoying it, if you're not having fun, um, then it, you know why even be doing it at this stage. And a lot of my students aren't doing it to be professional artists. They're doing it just to, hey, I remember I used to paint a little bit, and uh, I think I might be able to do that again. And um, it's at a time of their life where they want to come back. So, you know, that's what I like to bring out. And when I see people standing there swaying back and forth while they're <laughs> painting uh, with this, like, kind of a glisten in their eye, then I know I've done my job. Okay. Okay. So how many workshops do you do uh, a year? Oh, that's hard to say, but... Um, you do classes, too. And my, I was teaching classes. Work? I just stopped because I'd like to have a little bit more okay. time to paint for myself. Okay. I was teaching so many classes and workshops that I wasn't uh, taking some time to explore okay. things that I wanted to do personally. So I've done that, and I just teach the workshops. I had my own studio in, right. in Mount Dora where I, when I decided to teach a workshop, I put it out there on my on my list, I send an email and it usually fills up. I can only fit 10. Okay. So, um, but I teach, I travel all over Florida, mostly in the, in the winter months, teaching workshops in various cities. Well, how did Cheap Joe's connect with you, or how did you connect with us, or is it's, that a story? It's a kind of a story. I've yeah. known Joe for a long time. I'm from um, Cleveland, originally, and uh, I painted with some fabulous painters in Akron, or Cuyahoga Falls that introduced me to Joe years ago. And um, and I met him at various workshops at you know, Canuga, places like that. And um, But one of my students and Darlene in uh, Daytona Beach, she also has a place up here in, I think, Linfield Falls. or Linfield Falls, yeah. And uh, she's the one that taught Joe into giving me a chance. <coughs> and he remembered me a little bit, and it all came together. And uh, I'm forever grateful. So you're primarily an acrylic artist, right? Yes, only. And your class, you have on in the workshop, or it's three plus, which means it's not ranked beginners, and it's kind of it's not advanced, but it's you're in the. Middle. I don't want to rank anybody. You're in the middle, so yes, like yeah. It seems like all of your students have a aptitude, right? Right. Now for uh, they're all doing so well. Yeah, I'm excited no, about that. I would say there's no beginner necessarily. In, no, uh, but a beginner would certainly fit in because yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. the way I teach is I just kind of demonstrate at first what we're doing. We all work on the same thing, but they're all extremely different. Okay. And they watch me start, and then I let them go back, and then they kind of start the same way. And then it, usually the painting takes off in their own direction, but when they have that confidence that I show them exactly how to start it, then they go. Yeah. That's good. So, um, tell us a little bit about yourself when you kind of, your journey from when you first 
knew that you wanted to be an artist and, and well, people was, that have influenced you. I always painted. I always I mean I always was an artist, I suppose, all through sure. it. And I I wanted to be an art major, but my dad made me uh, take art education, saying that I would always have to maybe fall back on something. I needed a career because I just wanted I wanted to be a housewife right. and and uh, raise children and, and paint. And I actually did that, and I was very, you know, I had a very good life. Somehow in the middle, somewhere, <laughs> uh, that all kind of fell apart, and I wasn't prepared for that. And so, but I did decide that I was going to be an artist to support myself, which was very, very scary. And I'm not saying it was the brightest thing to do, but I, I did it. And so I went out and studied uh, with as many, and I switched from watercolor at that point to acrylic because just wanted to throw paint around. Okay. And I, uh, I studied with some really good painters and I started uh, doing the art festivals and teaching and it just all took off from there. So what artists have influenced you most? In your, in your well, um, Fred Graff, I would say, okay. uh, he was from my, my hometown area. I always studied with him. I think what I got the most from Fred, besides the, learning the very basics about a, doing a painting, which is the most important, if uh -huh. you don't have that, you, you just don't have a strong painting, but also um, how to be a, a good teacher. I kind of I kind of pull my favorite qualities from all the teachers that I've had and put it together to be the kind of teacher I want to be. And he, uh, Fred, was a great critiquer, so I try to to. Right. Um, do that too, but I took from um, Robert Burridge and Stephen Quiller and Don Andrews, and yeah, okay. it just goes on and on. The list of uh, so, how would you describe your work to somebody that doesn't know you or hasn't really seen much? Of okay, let's it? say bold, bold, okay. <laughs> bold um, painterly, and yeah, I get all kinds of comments at the art show. Um, you know. Uh, from just, you know, it's very loose. Um, okay. You can see a lot of brush strokes. Okay. And uh, it's not, they, 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 they say, hey, I can see it from far away, but when I get up close, I just see all these, right. you know, it looks like a mess. <laughs> so it just makes me crack up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah um, that's what I would say the style is. And I use a lot of bright color. Okay. I remember seeing a Van Gogh up close and personal at the Metropolitan or one of those museums and how thick and how uh, brush strokey his stuff was that you don't see those in, you don't see that part in books. You don't right, see you that. don't. Um, so what, what are your, some of your favorite uh, subjects to paint? Uh, well I guess my signature subject which kind of um, people know me for. It, I, I do a lot of the Caribbean okay. uh, figures, um, mostly women in white dresses, and I, you know, everybody goes, what island? I don't know. I make it up. I, I, I imagine somewhere between Haiti or, okay. or someplace like that. But I just love the composition of, uh, a composition of them kind of working. In the landscape. Working in the landscape. That's, that's that is actually my favorite thing to do, but um, I do boats and I do and I'm buildings, shack. It doesn't really matter the subject. It's uh, it's the light. Whatever. If I can capture great light on great shapes, I'm there. Well, part of why I do these interviews is to you. You'll be here in another year or so, mm -hmm. and oh. so people um, might look at this video and say, "Hey, I I don't know who she is, and it sounds pretty cool." So, if they get nothing else out of this interview, why would I want to take a Jane class? Why would I want to take your class? Because you'll have fun. You'll have fun. Okay. <laughs> you'll have fun, and you'll you'll uh, you'll accomplish a lot. Okay. Hopefully, I think you will. Um, your students go home with paintings. They go home with a lot of paintings. I mean, some classes they don't go home with anything except, you know, excitement and. Um, most of the instructors I talk with say pretty much the same thing you say. You want to build confidence, you want them to go home excited, you want them uh -huh. to kind of go, oh, I feel like, like a reboot, like right. I'm refreshed, I can, you know, no matter where they are in their journey, whether they're 
confident or struggling, they, they're going to leave on Friday with a new kind of found sense of direction or purpose. And, yeah. And I think that's, 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 that's one of your strengths, it seems. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I came in this morning. I was surprised they were all there yeah, very bright and early. That's, yeah, that is the... Uh, <laughs> I was wondering if they were there all night. Yeah, but. you've got <laughs> about 10 students that are... They're, they're there already. They're staying in there. So I would say that, uh, that you've had a very successful class. And, Thank you. And uh, hopefully this has been a successful interview and people that I hope. watch it would be... It's able very to, early in the morning. Very <laughs> early in the morning. And, uh, my eyes aren't open yet. Yeah. Um, so we've, I, I've had a cup of coffee. I don't know whether you have. Yeah, I've had one, one yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so yeah. after this, you go back to Mount Dora? And no, I'm going on to Virginia Beach. Okay. I'm going to do the art festival there. And then I'm going back to Cleveland to do an art festival there. Wow. Then I'm going to teach a, a one-day workshop up in the Sandusky area. Okay. And then, Sandusky I'm, then I'm going to take a little vacation and head up to northern Michigan. Okay. So you won't be back to Mount Dora for Not till mid-July. Not till mid-July. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, have a successful Thank rest you. of your career, and we'll see you in a year or so. I hope okay. so. Thank you. Thank you.